Good morning, P4. It's Mr. Hammonds here for your uh, Tuesday uh, Literacy Pack tutorial. We're looking at adverbs today. Um, so, yeah, what is an adverb? I think you can guess already it's got something to do with an action word or a doing word because it's got that word verb inside it. Uh, explains directly underneath an adverb is a word that gives more meaning to a verb. So, let's say, for example, Mr. Hammonds was running. The verb there is obviously the word running. But you might want to put a bit more detail in there about what sort of running I'm doing. Mr. Hammonds was running quickly. Mr. Hammonds was running uh, purposefully. Uh, these extra words I'm sticking at the end, quickly, purposefully, they're, they're the adverbs. So they're still action words, but they're kind of describing the action in a bit more detail. So they give us a couple of examples here. The sun shone brightly. So the verb is actually the word shone, shining. But now I know it's shining brightly, so it's obviously a clear day and those clouds in the sky. The adverb is the brightly part. A lot of them have adverbs, not all of them, but a lot of them have that L-Y at the end, brightly, swiftly, funnily, that kind of thing. Okay, so what you have to do is you need to copy these sentences down, the rain fell heavily, for example, and then underline the adverb. Again, that clue, look for the L-Y. The L-Y is a good giveaway. Uh, then you need to choose an adverb from this particular grayed out box here and write them at the end of the sentences so that that makes sense. Again, as I, what I usually do, uh, usually advise, I should say, always read the sentence out loud to yourself after you've finished. Uh, it usually can tell you whether you've used the right word because it will either make sense and sound right or you'll be like, hmm, the I eat crisps quickly, or quietly, well, which one's the best one? So weigh them all up and see which, which word actually sort of fits in best. Okay, moving along. Now, here you've got a bunch of words, and they want you to change them into adverbs. So it's, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is add the, that L-Y at the end. Then read it out loud. Just make sure it sounds right. In some cases, you need to drop the E at the end of a, end of a, a, a word in order to stick the L-Y on. So have a look at it. Uh, you can always refer to that online dictionary if you want to double check that your word is spelled correctly. Okay, and here we have got what we call adverb webs. These are kind of fun. So you've got a verb in the white part of the circle there, eat, sing, talk. And then you have to think of some adverbs that would match would match that particular web. Um, now, if you're running out of words to stick down there, uh, I can give you a clue. You can have a look at tomorrow's homework, Wednesday's uh, grammar homework. There's a whole list of adverbs there, so that might give you a bit of a, a bit of a heads up or a bit of a, a help if if you're getting stuck and you can't think of a word. Refer to that list. See how you go. And finally, practice your punctuation. Um, so again, we're looking for capital letters at the beginning of sentences, capital letters for uh, proper nouns full stops, maybe even a uh, exclamation mark, depends, have a look at, the, have a look at it. Uh, then underneath it asks you to underline all the adverbs. So as we've said already, that clue is that L-Y, L-Y, look for the L-Y. Okay, hopefully I can see you all in class this week, but um, uh, worst case scenario, hopefully it'll be uh, beginning next week. Um, yeah, good luck with the homework again. Ms. Wu and Mr. Hammonds are available if you need any help. Uh, so just message us on Seesaw and we'll get right back to you. Okay, take care, everybody.